Hi everyone, it's Ali. Today is day six of the Sugar and Spice collaboration between a bunch of us YouTubers who are participating and just showing you guys some great holiday treats that you can cook up between now, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, the New Year, whatever it is. So for today, day six, I am doing completely no bake, so simple, it's stupid, peanut butter chocolate rice crispy treats. Um, you can make these, you can use them at a party, cut them into shapes, put some frostings and decorations out for kids. They can decorate them and take them home. That's a great thing. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, I mold mine into footballs and then I take a frosting and I make the laces on the footballs. And these things, no matter whether I bring them plain or frosted or decorated, are the first things to go at every party. Because who doesn't like a Rice Krispie Treat? So keep watching for the recipe, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, here's the ingredients that you're going to need for this. It is a bag of marshmallows, three tablespoons of unsalted butter, half cup of peanut butter, and Cocoa Krispies. Um, you can also use Cocoa Pebbles, same thing, um, whatever ones you like. Let's get started. Okay, you wanna start by taking the butter and putting it in a microwave safe bowl. You wanna then microwave this for about 30 seconds. You just wanna get it started to get melted. So as you can see, the butter has started to melt. You're gonna go ahead and add in all of those marshmallows. Once you have all your marshmallows in, you wanna give this a good little stir. Put it back in the microwave and every about 15 to 30 seconds, you want to check on it to make sure your marshmallows aren't, you know, blowing up your microwave. Okay, so this took about a minute in my microwave. Again, I stirred it every couple 15 to 30 seconds because you just want to get that butter and keep incorporated. You want to get them to the just starting to get melty, gooey part. This is when you're going to add in a half cup of the peanut butter, mix it around just a little bit, and then again, every 15 to 30 seconds, you want to give it a mix. This is what it looks like when I just stirred in the peanut butter just a little bit. Again, you just want to kind of get incorporated so it starts to melt all together. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave and I'll come back and show you what it should look like. Okay, here's the consistency you want. This took a, just under a minute. It took about 50 seconds in my microwave to get this and I kept stirring it. Here's the consistency you want. Just give it a nice good stir. Now you're going to add in your uh, Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Krispies are in. Start stirring it. You know the consistency you want. If you need more Cocoa Krispies, add more if you want them a little drier. Um, if not, just go ahead and keep stirring. I've now gone ahead and dumped them into um, a pan that I want to have them in. I now take wax paper and I use it to flatten it out um, so it doesn't stick to anything. Um, I meant to say parchment paper, not wax paper. I use parchment paper. And I'll just let this sit on top of this, let it cool off, and now I'm going to go drown my sorrows and indulge in this bad boy. Bowl and a spoon, can't go wrong. And I will show you guys later how everybody enjoyed these. And by everybody, I pretty much mean me and Fork. Okay guys, we are going to try the Rice Krispie Deliciousness. My little taste tester who just woke up from a nap. Mm. Mm. Is it yummy? Good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Don't judge us why I don't eat the entire pan before the end of the night. No judgment. One more bite. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you make them so simple it's stupid. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yummy. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.